beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name's Amy and I'm so glad you're here today. I hope you're doing well. If this is your first time to my channel, hi, hello, how are you? It's so good to have you. Uh, I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. If you're a returning subscriber, hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? It's so good to connect with your energy. I really enjoy doing these astrological uh, videos for you guys. They're really fun, and I hope you enjoy it as well. So keep in mind, Sagittarius, this is a general reading. It's a general session. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I do offer personal and private sessions. All that information is down in my description box. So, all right, I'm just going to shuffle this little deck here. We're going to get general energies for August of 2021. We have protection, strong protective magic for the family and home. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some uh, general energies and then I'm going to pull for love and then I will pull another draw for career and money and then Sagittarius, I will pull another draw for health, spirituality and any other messages that your guides have for you. So I'm going to call in all your guides, your angels, your archetypes, ancestors of whatever paradigm you resonate with to come forward to give us the most powerful healing, health helpful and vital messages for Sagittarius for August of 2021. All right, I'm going to pull from the Lunology deck and see what energy overall energies are coming through for Sagittarius. So, one for Sagittarius for August of 2021. All right. Okay, I'm feeling this right here. We have nothing will come in this situation. All right, let me pull one more because I know this is a frustrating card to get, okay, because it's, it's really not clear. It's vo void, of course, moon, okay? All right, I'm feeling Sagittarius has been going through a rough time, maybe with a partner or at a job. Maybe you're having trouble finding a job, a job you like. Okay, we have confidence is your key to success, okay? So whatever's going on, if this feels like a block, and spirits coming through and say you need to be confident in your abilities. You need to, I'm feeling, take charge of a situation and go for it for your new beginning. This is a new moon in Leo. So I'm feeling a new beginning coming after a time of uh, possibly like frustration, maybe meeting a brick wall, feeling blocked in some areas. So let's go into love here and see what we got going on. I'm going to pull one from the Lover's Oracle and then we're going to pull from the Romance Angels to get a better idea of what is going on here for you guys. Sagittarius and love 2021. I'm feeling overwhelmed just in general here for Sagittarius. You may be having some issues with, that, with anxiety. All right, one for Sagittarius. Okay, I'm feeling that one. I will flip all these over in a minute after I pull them. One from the Romance Angels. And we're going to get some tarot as well. One for Sagittarius. All right. One. I'm feeling this card right here, actually. Okay. I'm going to get three tarot. I'm going to get the Starman tarot. Love. Love for our Sagittariuses for August. Man, it didn't want to go together, does it? Um, love for Sagittarius, August 2021. Okay. This one peeked out. I'm going to get one. This one is peeking out. And I'm feeling this one. Okay. And that one flipped. Well, I'm, I'm going to take that one. I have to take that one. <laughs> I have to make it odd numbers. I'm one of those weirdos who needs odd numbers. Okay. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Okay. So you and your person may be um, not broken up, but you may be... Um, kind of giving each other some room, room to grow is what I'm hearing, room to grow. Um, this may be that you don't have anybody yet and um, it's time for you just to kind of go within and work on yourself as well, I'm getting that. New love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay, for some of you, this doesn't matter if you were, you're with someone or not. You may be in a situation where the energy in your relationship has kind of come to a lull. I'm gonna move my chair up a little bit. Um, the energy in your relationship might come to a lull and there's a new person coming through. Or if you're single, Sagittarius, this is a new person coming through, okay? And I feel like some of you guys are going to be um, 
a little distant about it about it there's some distance here there's um uneasiness maybe about it okay so let's go into more cards and see what we got we have the nine of ones that's our wounded warrior then we have um the chariot motion we have the queen of cups we have the two of wands and we have the seven of cups i'm that's what i'm feeling with the seven of cups i'm feeling overwhelmed overwhelm in love um, it, for Sagittarius, you know, it may be that you're having a time in your relationship where everything's very emotional and you're getting a little burned out by all the emotion. I'm going to, I'm going to move these around for you. Um, and you may just feel like, you know what? I just need some space. I don't want to break up, but I just need you to back off because <laughs> the emotions here feel almost a little bit demanding. Okay. And I, I don't want that. I feel like you don't want that. I feel you saying, I don't want that. I don't, I don't want our love to be um, ruined by demands of emotion. That's what I'm hearing. So for some of you, this is your relationship. For others, um, I feel like you're going to be uncomfortable maybe when this person comes forward. It's going to make you feel really um, overwhelmed. You may feel such a passionate connection that it's very confusing and you don't know. You've never felt this before. And uh, just keep in mind that this is going to help you balance out your life. There's balance coming in love with the chariot here. Um, I feel like this is someone who's been through a lot in the area of love. Maybe you and your person haven't been getting along or there's been a lot of disagreements. And I feel like you're getting some balance here and moving forward. With Queen of Cups is compassionate, uh, loving, intuitive. I feel like you and your person will become more deeply intuitively connected. If this is new love, then this is someone who feels guided. Y'all feel guided together. It's as if you feel, I'm, I'm hearing a yod. Yod is where a lot of people sometimes when they have a yod in their natal chart, they feel like there are outside forces that affect their life and they're powerless to do anything about it. And it's like Sagittarius feeling powerless, like they can't resist this person. And for some of you, you may have someone already in your life and um, you're thinking that, you know, I have a person already. I'm committed. And there's this energy of like, oh my gosh, I don't, I don't know what to do. I, I don't know which way to go. I'm feeling with the two of ones here. Which way do I go? What do I do? And I'm feeling that spirit's coming through. Your guidance is coming through. Uh, your intuition. Listen to your intuition in August of 2021 in love, okay? Because I feel like there's a lot of... Um, guidance coming and then i'm being pulled back to nothing will come of the situation so if you're with someone and um you know you're feeling the presence of someone else come forward you know it's important that you talk about it talk about what's going on with you be willing to go deeper and i feel sagittarius saying i don't want to go deeper though i don't want to explain everything <laughs> you know i just i want to be you know and i feel i'm feeling poly for some of you coming through like if you're poly um or you're you're considering it this may be your third person coming through um for other sagittarius's i just feel another presence around you that's making you kind of decide it's like a further level of commitment either this person comes in and you discover that you know what the relationship i have is not working out or this is someone coming into your life that says hey you know, I'm for you. I'm here. I'm your person. I finally showed up. And this is going on while Sagittarius is really going through a lot. Be protective of your energy though, okay? This person, when they present, you will know. You will absolutely know because I'm feeling magnetic energy here. This could be a Leo. They could have Leo in their chart, okay? Um, because this chariot is very powerful energy, okay? And um, who who rides a chariot? The conquering hero. So there's a victory in this spread here, but that doesn't mean the situation isn't difficult or may overwhelm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull additional cards for you guys in love. I haven't for anybody else, I don't think, but you. But I feel like there is a confusing situation in your love that's coming forward. And I feel like you guys, if this is a relationship you're in, y'all been through a lot, and you may actually be deciding in August, whether you want to stay or where, whether you want to go kind of thing, whether it's going to work or whether it's not, you know, and uh, no judgment here. You have to do what you have to do to be happy. Just like your, your person, if you don't love them the way the deep, the deep level of love that, um, you once had, or you're trying to move to it and you just can't seem to get to it, you know, maybe they aren't for you and that's okay. There's no judgment. You know, if you don't release them, then you're not releasing them to finding their person. You're not just blocking yourself, Sagittarius. You're blocking your person as well. 
Okay, I want to get some advice here for this situation. For some of you you're, who are single, this is new love, okay? And you're going to know it. You're going to feel it. It's magnetic. I can feel the energy of magnetism here with the Leo. The Leo energy is over all areas of your life this month, okay? Okay, advice for Sagittarius in love. Sweet results await. So I'm feeling like they're coming through and saying this void, nothing will come in this situation is saying nothing negative is going to come in this situation. The outcome is positive. Okay. So Sagittarius, be brave about how you handle this. Okay. Um, be honest about where you are and be honest about what you want in a person. Okay. It will serve, it will serve you and it will serve, it will serve your person. I just want you to pick up here on this energy. This energy, we have the golden energy here. We have the golden energy here. So be confident in your decisions, okay? Be confident and move forward with grace. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, I don't want all those, so the middle one goes. Okay. Okay, we have life is a mystery. Okay, I feel like this person's going to, Scorpio here as well. Um, this, la this person's going to feel very much like, um, something you want to get into you want to unfold you want to know there are elements about this person that are just so full of this mystery that uh it's intoxicating okay and this may be your person going through some changes that change their frequency time to let go groundhog energy so i feel like there may be an, an issue here that you need to let go of, okay? Um, and it may be that you need to open up to going deeper with your person. You need to be open more emotionally. And in August, that's what we're dealing with, is with Sagittarius reflecting, giving, giving themselves space, giving their person sp safe, uh, space, and coming forward, back together, coming forward, and letting ideas past ideas go this is about releasing expectations of your person uh, for some of you for others it's about letting the person you're with maybe go because maybe you don't love them like you thought you did um, and for many of you it's letting go of your past so your person this new love can come forward okay so all right that's what i'm getting in your um in your love sector so Let's keep going. We're going to do career now and money. Just pull these in here. All right. I'm going to use the Art Nouveau Tarot for love. Okay. I hope I'm not shaking the shaking that too much. I'm trying to get all the cards where y'all see them. Okay, where is my Art Nouveau? Okay, let's get the block. Okay, let's look at any blocks you're dealing with in love. Not love. Career and money. August 2021. All right. Okay. Parasite. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dig this. Wow, what is parasiting your energy and career and money? You need to look at that. That's a powerful card. You need to protect yourself as well. Uh, Sagittarius, this could be a spending money uh, in a way that is almost like addictive, like being addicted to the buy. You know what I'm saying? This could also be someone who's parasiting your ideas or you feel drained and you may not feel inspiration for your work. I do feel a drain on your money here. Let's talk about it. What is this about, spirit? Let's talk about this parasite energy, this parasitic energy you need to release. I feel like for some of you, maybe you're feeling like you have to buy things that make yourself more attractive so that you can get the job or do better. But the truth is you need to reveal more within yourself, okay? You need to reveal more of your personality and more of the truth of you, okay? You can buy all the pretty clothes and all those things that you want but the truth is if you're still putting clothes on um i'm seeing like a person wearing a rubber suit like in um <laughs> like in american horror story um people won't see you in it they'll see this image you project and the truth is is that uh, many times our blocks are about hiding our true selves and not being confident in who we are and putting on masks okay so there's a need here for you to expose more of yourself we have manifestation of money there okay Whoop, whoop, what flipped? We have the nine of cups. Okay, I feel like removing this 
removing this energy is really going to help you flow in career and money. There's money coming. We have the chariot as well. So uh, there's a lot of good movement, powerful movement in your money sector. So if you've been struggling, know the energy is coming through to help you. I feel like you need to get more protective of your energy. There may be a habit or someone in your life who is siphoning money and you need to stop that shit. Okay. I literally, I don't mean to be mean, but that's what spirit says. You need to stop that shit. And then we have the eight of ones as well. So we have eight, nine, we have nine, nine. Look up those numbers. Nine, nine is a powerful manifesting number. You're in alignment for this, uh, this, uh, Woo! I need a moment. This powerful breakthrough that I'm feeling for you in money, in your business. If you have a business of your own, I'm feeling like you're really going to start aligning with abundance and manifestation, okay? Just keep in mind with this parasite energy here, this parasitic energy, that you're going to manifest what you think about, where your heart is, where you put your energy. So if you put your energy into this situation here, this voided energy where you're, you're thinking badly of yourself and your talents and your abilities, then that's what you're going to manifest. So what they're saying is to get, get into your confidence, recognize your talents and abilities, recognize what you have to give to the world, and it will help this parasitic energy flip over and go away. Okay, and that's what we need to do. I feel like for some of you, it's almost like you're vampiring over, off your own energy. You're feeding yourself as you think about failure, as you think about the struggle, you're manifesting it. And in August, I feel like you're starting to protect your energy more. Uh, you're starting to realize that you are talented. You do have skills and abilities that people will like. And it's as if that breakthrough of thought, the ability to keep your mind busy and your heart and soul occupied into uh, careers and activities that you love is really going to allow this Nine of Wands energy to rise, this wounded warrior. Okay, so that means you've been through a lot. We've all been through a lot in our lives, right? But we have the Nine of Cups here, and it's like turning that fight into money, turning that fight into passion, turning the fight into um, alignment, aligning with, with powerful, powerful motion with uh, your destiny. So if you guys are looking for money in August, I feel like for many of you there's going to be money. It may come from an unexpected place. Um, it may be a check that you're looking for, or maybe somebody uh, donates to, you know, your PayPal, or somebody buys um, a, a, a product from you or a service. I feel like if you work for someone, this could be a, a uh, raise, or this may be time for the Wounded Warrior to look for another position, okay? Because I feel like for some of you, this parasitic energy and this Nine of Ones energy is really about your job not fulfilling you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you're very creative. You're a very creative a sign. It's almost like you require some kind of creative output to um, be happy. And what you need to do is whatever creative thing you're doing, Sagittarius, you do it well. Allow it to manifest success and money for you. Okay, be open to that. All right, so, okay, we're going to move into spirituality, health, and other messages that spirit might have for you. So let's keep it going here. I'm going to shuffle these up. I like using this deck. Okay, they want me to use the um, Starman Tarot. Okay. All righty. So let's pull from the animal, the animal spirit oracle, spirituality, spiritual messages, health. I feel like you're needing to drink more water. Okay. And you need to get some vitamins. That's what I'm getting. Now, I'm not a doctor, okay? So if you can't take vitamins or whatever, you know, talk to your doctor, okay? But I'm just hearing you need more vitamin and mineral. I feel a lot of uh, Sagittarius energies are mineral deficient. So just keep that in mind. Eat some healthy food. Eat some, uh, I'm seeing like uh, green vegetables here. Leafy greens, leafy greens. Okay. All right. What have we got for lovely Sagittarius, our creative Sagittarius? Time for a deep dive. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Yeah, we, we talked about that in the area of love, about going deeper. This is about going deeper. What does Sagittarius want? What do you want? Clarify it. 
I think in August you're going to clarify a lot of that energy about what you want, what your future is going to be. You may in the next year be having some kind of major accomplishment happening, um, a time maybe of letting something go, that kind of thing. So, okay, I'm getting the four of wands. This is happiness. This is a reason to celebrate. In August, you, you may have a reason to celebrate. Um, and I feel like the advice here for you is to be more joyful. Uh, connect with friends, connect with family, con connect with whoever feeds you because this deep dive really requires you to look at yourself. I'm seeing a swan on a lake that's mirrored and there's another swan looking back. And I feel like for many of you, um, Sagittarius may have given up on finding your person. If you're single, if you're in your relationship, you may think, you know, we're never going to be able to do the deep dive. And I feel like you cannot expect someone else to do a deep dive with you before you have done it within yourself. So it's time, it's time to do that. But to level that energy out, it's important that you make time to have some fun. Okay. Be playful, Sagittarius. Wow, that Ten of Cups is flashing. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle this up again. And, yeah, okay. All right. Okay, we have the Five of Cups. Yeah, this is dealing, Five of Cups is about being in kind of a battle and trying to decide um, whether you could turn around and see your other cups or you just stay looking at your cups. And I feel like you are going to turn around, okay? You're going to look within at your strengths, at your accomplishments, and you're going to turn around and see what you have to work with. And that might be your person that you feel more deeply for your person than you've expressed, or you're going to decide, you know what? It's time to move on. And that could be a job as well. It's going to be different for different people. But I feel Sagittarius wanting to move on, wanting to move into happiness and, uh, in career and money, I'm feeling that strongly. So there's just a lot of changes for you, Sagittarius, in, um, in August. Wow, wow, wow. That's too many cards. Whoa. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take this, this deck just wants to talk. So um, we have the King of Swords here. Wow. Wow. The Ten of Cups tried to come out earlier, and it came out now. Okay. They want you to know that what, what lies ahead is a lot of happy energy for you, okay? There's a lot of powerful energy coming through for Sagittarius for August of um, uh, 2021. I feel like, um, well, first of all, this is how it goes. Moving out of that into some joyful, abundant energy and manifesting this Ten of Cups with the King of Swords energy. It might be an air sign you're with, or they may have a lot of air in their chart. Um, or this is someone who really learns how to communicate. This could be you learning how to communicate from a deeper place, okay, with this Ten of Cups here. The, the kind of place that nurtures your relationship and nurtures yourself. Uh, this is also about you becoming more nurturing of what you want, finding out what you want with the Five of Cups, and uh, really beginning to understand the power of doing something you love, okay? It will make you magnetic. It will make opportunities come forward for you, be revealed. I feel like Sagittarius has several opportunities circling them, and they're unable to see it right now. This is you being able to see it, and it's going to make you happier than, than you think. I feel like it may not unfold exactly how you want, but I think once you take a deep dive, once you look within, I feel like you're going to be like, you know what? This is what I want. This is what I want to do. I feel so much better. I feel happy. I feel hopeful. This is Sagittarius moving into an energy of really being hopeful in August of 2021. So let me see if there's any last messages or advice for you. Um, about this energy here. All right, so I'm going to pull from the uh, Moonology deck. Any more message? Well, this one wanted to come out, so we're going to take it. Take that one and that one. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> that was easy. Okay, so we have the energy is gaining momentum. You are good enough. Bring love into the situation. So I feel like for many of you, the advice here is be willing to go deeper. You know, be willing, if you are not willing to go deeper with your person, then you need to understand that this may not be your person, okay? But honestly, Sagittarius, 
anyone who you come across who wants a serious relationship is going to require you to be more giving emotionally, okay? They want emotional intimacy with you, Sagittarius, and I understand that that can be difficult for you. Many times you guys are on your creativity, uh, working on uh, expanding yourself in a lot of ways, and sometimes your expansive energy can be very threatening to your partner because they feel like they're not enough for you. Um, and this is a I feel like you reflect that, like you, you are enough, but sometimes you may not feel like you are enough, like you're not where you're supposed to be, you're not as expansive as you want to be, um, you're not as avant-garde as you want to be, uh, a little bit of restriction here for Sagittarius, and the thing is, is that you have to understand that draw, that drive to expand will always be there. Okay, it doesn't matter who the person is or the job is or whatever. That's part of being a Sagittarius is this drive to expand. And what I'm hearing from spirit is it's time to expand your consciousness, how you think about yourself, how you think about your partner or your future partners, how you think about your job, how you think about creativity. Sometimes when we're trying really hard to be expansive, we miss the goals that we want to achieve because we don't think the, uh, the results that spirit brings are good enough, okay? So just know that what comes to you is meant for you. And love yourself enough to take the opportunities that come as stepping stones, okay? Um, the first stepping stone might not be as big as you want. That's okay because each step leads to the top and that's where you want to go, Sagittarius. So that's what I'm feeling for you guys for August of 2021. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys. From you guys. I hope you have a beautiful August and I will see you guys next time. Bye, Sagittarius.